So in this example, we're going to place a dot on the coordinate plane. So I've already got my little graph over here to represent a solution to the following system of equations. So we have y equals x plus 4, and then we have the equation 2y plus 4x equals 44. So to solve this, I'm going to use substitution. And there was an uh, earlier video, an earlier problem, where we also used substitution. And if I remember correctly, in that problem, we had y equals something and y equals something else. And we just set those two somethings equal to each other. We don't have that happening in, in this problem, but we can still use substitution. So notice in the first equation, I, I'm given that y equals this quantity, x plus 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to substitute that into the second equation. So I've got 2 times y, but again from the first equation, I know that y equals x plus 4. And then we're still left with positive 4x equals 44. So the idea is we can use this to solve for x, and then we can go back and solve for y. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the parentheses by distributing. So 2 multiplied by x is 2x. 2 multiplied by positive 4 is positive 8. We still have our positive 4x equals 44 left over. So I'm going to combine like terms on the left side. We have 2x plus 4x. That's going to give me 6x plus 8 equals 44. So again, I, I want to solve for x is the, is the goal here. So I want to try to get the, the term involving x all by itself. So to do that, I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. So we'll have 6x equals, well, let's see, um, 44 minus 8, I believe that's going to give us, uh, what's that going to give us? So 44 minus 8, that's going to give us 36. So I've got 6 multiplied by x equals 36. Well, to get x by itself, since I'm multiplying by 6, I'm going to divide both sides by 6. So 6 divided by 6 is just 1x, and 36 divided by 6 will give me x equals 6. Well, now I've got my value for x. Now I can go back and put it into either equation and solve for y. Well, it looks like the first equation to me is much easier to use. So we have that y equaled x plus 4. Again, we know that x is equal to 6. So 6 plus 4 is going to be 10. So I know that my solution is the ordered pair 6 comma 10. So that's where we're going to need to put a dot on our, on our graph here. So, okay, so 6 comma 10, that's the point we want to find, or that's where we want to put a dot. So the x coordinate is 6, so I'm going to go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. And then I have to find the y value of 10, which means I'm going to have to count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we've got our solution. So we've got a dot at the point 6, 10, and we are finished.